and Lewis Hamilton banish months of despair by once again topping a session and doing it on the famous Monte Carlo streets. The seven-time world champion, best of the bunch, with a time of 1 minute 12, 1, 6, 9. Practice is down and Charles Leclerc will be a happy man, topping the timing tables in front of the home fans. Hamilton was second, completing a good day for the seven-time world champion. The seven-time champ is looking on form this weekend. He was quickest in FP1 and was third in final practice behind Leclerc and Verstappen in a much improved showing for Mercedes so far. Came up with the idea of coming up with a race in Monaco and its improvement to fourth place for Lewis Hamilton. But Russell has been the lead Mercedes on the grid so many times this year. He's trying to make it 7-1 in the head-to-head. -head. A minute to go. Russell comes across the line. Where does he go? Up to third. Hi, Lewis. Hi. Obviously, uh, Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes fans all around the world were hoping for so much after those flying practice sessions today. I mean, the margins are so incredibly tight, so incredibly small. Are you, are you disappointed that you weren't higher up? Oh, for sure, for sure. And, and from the, from the get-go, it felt great. And we were obviously competitive um, yesterday and this morning. And uh, we didn't, we we're not dra making any drastic changes or anything like that. Um, the team have worked really hard back of the factory to bring an upgrade in the last two races and also an upgrade this weekend but we only had one which George has and so I anticipate it would be difficult to outqualify George because he has the upgraded uh, component but once we get to qualifying I don't I don't understand like I already know automatically for the that I'm going to lose two tenths going into qualifying and that's definitely frustrating and it's something that uh, I don't really have an answer for at the moment. But I'm not driving any different. The, the laps are really great. Just, um, yeah, I'm just lacking. Yeah, I don't anticipate being ahead of George in qualifying, particularly in this year. Um, but uh, yeah, we just got to just keep pushing as the races are strong. Why are you all here? We'll see. Incident down at turn three. Car stopped. Okay. Red flag, red flag. Uh, red flag, red flag, it dealt positive. So we into pit lane. So uh, staying in the past. Told you guys. Told you guys. So you can be all clear on exit. So this is out like normal, but uh, that time should just come to you. How hard do you want to push? Yeah, just push. Yeah. It's like the Suzuka. So we're stuck in the pit lane. Tell me that critical. Um, I heard you saying yesterday that you didn't think you'd be able to beat George in qualifying this year. That's always from where I remember you qualified to be the strength of yours. Just explain why the reason why you just don't think you'll be able to beat him this year. Um, look, I mean, I'm, I'm always going to give my all, and that's what I just try to do each weekend uh, and, and for this team. And, uh, and it's really, really positive to see the. It's really positive to see the team are bringing upgrades um, weekend in, weekend out. So. You know, that's, Lewis Hamilton has won this race on seven occasions. He holds that record jointly with Michael Schumacher. And the Briton rolled back the years by putting in the fastest lap of the weekend so far, a 1 minute 12, 549, almost four tenths faster than his nearest rival, Verstappen, in P2. Same time, but he set it second. So Russell still has one hand on pole position. Only one driver can seemingly deny him. Russell over the line, looking for a second career pole position. He's got it at the moment, but he's up against one of the masters of Montreal. Here comes Lewis Hamilton to the line, and it's not enough. Have you got any early indications as to maybe why you haven't managed to get the most out of the car, given that it's got a little bit better and you're always stronger around here normally? Uh, yeah, well, tyres were working through throughout the weekend, and then we got to qualifying. Every time I went out the garage, my tyres were, for some reason, uh, below on temperature. So every set was two or three degrees lower than it should have been, and you can't catch it up, and I couldn't switch the tyres on after that. So that's something we have to really look at, because something's going went on with the blankets, I guess. I wasn't confused, just the whole qualifying was pretty poor from, 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 from my side. Just the car was not the same when I got into qualifying. Okay. What do you expect of tomorrow's race, knowing the car can have a good pace when you watch George is in pole position, so, and we see that Mercedes is going faster and faster. Yeah, Mercedes, uh, the team's doing a great job. Uh, everyone's doing such a great job with uh, developing the car, and it's great to see us 
have performance um, back on us again. And I think, um, yeah, congrats to George. I'm sure he'll do a good job tomorrow. You can see your frustration now. What is going through your mind? Not too much. Looking forward to going home. We always usually put our money on you and, and Canada in this circuit. So talk to me about that qualifying for you today. It looks like George may have got a tiny toe off Alex for that key, for that lap that was put him on pole. But other than that, what else was going on today? Uh, the car had been feeling great all weekend. I mean, firstly, congratulations to George. Um, did a great job. It's really great for the team. Obviously, everyone's worked so hard to bring upgrades back at the factory. So this will be a real huge boost for everyone back at the factory. Um, car was feeling great all weekend, and as soon as got to, qual uh, to qualifying, that kind of vanished for me. Can you tell us why or how or what feeling changed? Or um, the grip, just the grip, just disappears for me. So um, P P P3, I had plenty of pace in me, and then um, get to qualifying, and the tyres don't work. And nothing had changed on the car. Hmm? And nothing changed change on the car. car. Nothing on the car. All right, thank you. We'll go better tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah into the DRS of Crofty, heading down towards the chicane. Only four tents between them. Hamilton hasn't got DRS. George Russell has. It's not hold stations at Mercedes. George Russell squeezes down the inside on Lewis Hamilton. Lewis, the positive is the car is making performance. to get on top Can I get your response to this email that was sent to you and to other members of the um, paddock claiming that um, Lewis's car is being sabotaged? It's said to be from a member um, of your team. Thank you. Yeah, so it's not from a member of the team. It was uh, when, when we are getting these kind of emails and we're getting tons of them, uh, it is, uh, it is um, upsetting, particularly when there's somebody's talking about death and all these things. So we have on this particular one, I have instructed to go on full force. We have the police uh, inquiring it. We are researching the IP, we are IP address, we are researching the phone, all of that, because online abuse in that way needs to stop. People can't hide behind their phones or their computers uh, and uh, abuse teams or drivers uh, in, in a way like this. Um, I don't know what some of the conspiracy theorists and lunatics th think out there. Lewis was part of the team for 12 years. We have a friendship. We trust each other. We want to win this. Uh, on a, we want to end this on a high. We want to celebrate the relationship. And if you don't believe all of that, that you can believe that we want to win the constructor world championship. And part of the constructor world championship is making both cars win. So to all of all of these mad people out there uh, take a shrink can lewis hamilton respond hamilton over the line to third position russell cuts the beam that's fourth place that's callan orcus autosport question to lewis please um there's been uh, various occasions so far this season where you've looked really quite strong in practice and then come qualifying it's not come together uh, not the case uh, at this event i just wondered what do you think uh, made the difference this time thank you I still feel like a lost performance going into the, you know, they're still lost a, sim a little bit going into the quality or it's all about perspective, maybe they just move forwards, but I definitely feel like there was a little bit more. Um, but just as you start to push the car, it, it uh, doesn't like it. Um, so in practice, when you leave a little bit of margin, the car feels quite nice, but it's when you start to really lean on it to try and get that extra bit of lap out where we a lap time out where we really really struggle. And I think it's all over in the tires. So uh, you saw in P1, I was seven tenths down due to um, an issue with the blankets, and then we got it uh, sorted for the the following sessions. And so um, put you on a bit of a back foot. Yeah, I should have had the podium last week, uh, last race. So. Uh, it's been a long time coming and it's been something we've been working towards, so I'm really, really happy. He's won this Grand Prix on four occasions. He's trying to take the lead from Charles Leclerc. Now with the help of DRS, out of the slipstream to the race lead for Lewis Hamilton. Pick level one stop. So George Russell asking the team to consider extending. Lewis Hamilton coming in for a vital stop. The race leader comes into the pits. George Russell wins the Belgian Grand Prix. Felt great to get in the lead and um, 
obviously is a bit of a shock at the end, um, but um, you know, we'll see that in house. And Russell has been disqualified from this Grand Prix. That is the breaking news which we've received in the last few minutes. So Lewis Hamilton is the winner of the 2024 Belgian Grand Prix. As Russell cuts the beam, where does he go? Improves his lap time, not his place. His teammate is next over the line. Lewis Hamilton tries to get beyond the Red Bulls. Can he do it? No. He too improves his time, but not his position. A lot of people out there. How is it for you? Tell us. Yeah. Uh, same Saturday as always. And what was it today particularly? Because there's been improvement, practice sessions have looked okay here and there, but what issues were you uh, dealing with in the car? Uh, the same thing as every Saturday. Um, yesterday the car was amazing, felt great. And I honestly think it could have been at least second row today. But uh, came today and all of a sudden the tyres don't work all. Uh, the tyres didn't work all day. Yeah, but it, I mean, every every single Saturday I've lost at least half a second to a second. So and this and today I lost a second compared to yesterday. So I just you can ask your boys though. You can, I mean, you trust your boys. You can, you can ask your boys to keep just, to make sure the temperatures are all right in the in the blankets and I they're do, on I, there. And I do it every weekend. So. I know. I know you say you do. Yeah. I know you say um, you do. But all I can do is just you know I'm, I work as hard as I can. I'm just yeah. going to stay positive. Yeah. It's not getting to my head. Um, it's a tough weekend on the whole. The pace just doesn't seem to have quite been there since the summer break. Where do you think it's gone? Uh, well, it was pretty good on Friday, but I think the others have developed and we haven't uh, the last in this phase. We've, but we have some stuff coming. Starting from the pit lane today, was that just an acceptance that probably wasn't going to be your day and get it out of the way with better races to come for the rest of the season? Yeah, I knew it was going to be a disastrous race as soon as the decision was made last night.